Thank you, uh, Philippine Space Agency officer in charge, uh, Dr. Gary Jane Perez, for your kind introduction. The Space Operations, Infrastructure, and Industry Deputy Director General, Dennis Villorente, Ministry of Education, Culture, Sports, Science, and Technology Deputy Director General Furuta Hiroshi, JAXA's International Relations and Research Department Director Onoda Masami, the delegates attending the Asia Pacific Regional Space Agency Forum, my fellow workers in government, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. Space technology is no longer a concept that only scientists and engineers appreciate. It is now woven into our everyday life. Its benefits are evident in the satellite imagery that prepares communities for calamities, the weather forecasts that inform our daily decisions, and the navigation systems that guide us to our destinations. At the 31st session of the Asia Pacific Regional Space Agency Forum, or IPRSAF, we are reminded of how deeply space exploration touches and transforms the lives of our people. For over three decades, you have stood as one of the region's most significant platforms for cooperation in space. Here, we come together to share insightful experiences, to build stronger partnerships, and advance regional space capability. This year also marks an important milestone for the Philippines. It is our second time to host the Upper SAF, following the 23rd session in 2016. Our return as host, as host reflects how far our nation has come and how committed we are to contributing to the region's collective development. In line with the theme empowering the region through space ecosystem in action, you bring to the fore discussions on capability enhancement, space exploration, and industry development. This is how we translate our shared commitment into action, by expanding space science and technology and ensuring that outer space remains a domain of responsible stewardship. We, expand our, we extend our gratitude to the Philippine Space Agency, the Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency, Japan's Ministry of Education, Culture, Sports, Science, and Technology for making this event possible. This forum could not have come at a more critical time. The world faces intensifying climate crises, increasingly complex disasters, and widening development gaps. These challenges weigh even more heavily on us because of where we stand on the map. Situated along the Pacific Typhoon Belt and the Pacific Ring of Fire, our country now endures an average of 19 to 20 tropical cyclones every year as well as an average of 20 recorded earthquakes every day, a little like Japan. At the same time, humanity stands at the threshold of extraordinary breakthroughs, none more visible than in the field of space. Across the Asia Pacific, nations are turning to space science as a means to improve governance, protect the environment, and to champion inclusive development. In the Philippines, the FILSA has been at the helm of our progress in space, science, and technology over the past six years. They regularly generate and distribute satellite data to national and local governments, researchers, and of course, the private sector. These are used to aid disaster risk reduction and management, as well as monitor the country's maritime domain, among other, among other functions. I am also looking forward to the completion of the Multispectral Unit for Land Assessment, or MULA satellite, which is set to be the country's largest Earth observation satellite. It's all very, we're all very excited about that. Last year, FILSA and the European Commission, through the National Copernicus Capacity Support Program for the Philippines, unveiled the Copernicus Data Center. It is the first Copernicus Earth Observation Data Storage and Processing Facility here in Asia. And through its pilot services, we bring data into the hands of Filipino experts and decision makers. FILSA also in, continues to forge and strengthen partnerships with agencies and institutions, exchanging space data, boosting space capabilities, and providing space-enabled products and services. All these initiatives are guided by a simple conviction. Space must serve the people. 
In this very pursuit, your efforts are more crucial than ever. So I encourage you to share your invaluable experiences, engage in deep and profound dialogue, and implement effective strategies anchored on our commitment to prudent and responsible utilization of space technology. So together, let us shape an Asia-Pacific region that harnesses space capabilities to confront climate change, strengthen disaster resilience, spark inclusive economic growth. Thank you very much. Mabuhay kayong lahat. Maraming salamat at magandang hapon po.